Hello everyone, Toby from AbletonDrama.com here. I have a new Max for Life device for you. It comes as a pay what you like device because it has a few limitations I'm gonna point out here. So it is about using your computer keyboard as a MIDI keyboard. So this is standard in Ableton Live that you can use that, but it's quite limited because you get only a little bit over one octave, always starting at a C. Yes, you can retune it, but you can't set it probably up to a scale you like and you can't use more keys than just a few on your keyboard. So here comes the Max for Life device and you will need Max for Life to make use of that which is included in Ableton Live Suite or can be bought towards Ableton Live Standard. Cool, so let us have a look. You get this pop-up window here where you can see the different keys of my keyboard are showing up here and I can actually map those quite easy or delete those. I got an X for deleting, I got an S and it's now waiting for me to put in a key and you can see and hear already that this is now playing those notes here. This means it gives me a lot of flexibility. I can set up single different notes for each key here. So if you are using a keyboard in a different language than German, no problem, you just map it to the keys you like. Maybe you wanna start somewhere else on your keyboard. Maybe you don't want, even want so many um, keys being mapped and playing notes here as well. So you can do this and you can highly customize this to your needs. So for example, you can even chromatically um, go up. So let's say I wanna go up four semitones here, put those in and you can see the pitch is changing for the overall keyboard here. And this is being done for minus 12 plus 12. So for a full octave here as well. So now the limitations obviously are that um, you have a few shortcuts here in Ableton Live. So for example, if I play my, or press my M key here, you can see that the MIDI keyboard is being turned on and off in Ableton Live as well. So this is happening and listening on the same time. So you need to make sure that you're not using shortcuts on your keyboard here, which um, are using some stuff in Ableton Live. So in this example, I mean, it doesn't hurt anything turning on and off my keyboard here. So that's the first limitation. Second limitation is um, keyboard shortcuts um, only work for the foremost application here. So in this case, um, now it is Max for Life because this window is open. As soon as I click somewhere else in Ableton Live, um, you can see and you can hear now that you can hear nothing because this um, is not Maxwell Life is now not the f the front, the foremost application now. So you have to click on O, for example, and now it is the frontmost application again. So there is a limitation here as well. So you can um, customize this to be a bit more flexible if you MIDI map or key map your um, this open button down below here. So if I now click this on my MIDI controller, I get my keyboard straight here and I can play things again as I like quickly. Okay, so obviously customization here happens as well for um, this zoom. Um, here you can go in the slider window here and I do this via um, arrow up and arrow down. Uh, one more exciting thing here, you can even set up uh, shift tabs. So for example, if I want to say, well, I want those three here to play a certain note, but I want them to be to, let's make this a little bit bigger. I want them only to the uppercase um, keys here. So I can now press um, shift and map this to, and you can hear the sounds here as well, to the uppercase and not the lowercase um, letters here. So if I'm pressing those now, you can hear that it's not triggering. But if I press shift now or shift lock, for example, this will now play. So you can go quite deep here and customize. Be aware that it will 
might conflict with some shortcuts, especially in Ableton Live 12. You will get a few more shortcuts here, key command shortcuts. So you need to set this up wisely, but I think it's a good tool to uh, quickly maybe put in a baseline or just when you're when you're on the train or somewhere where you don't have a MIDI keyboard and just quickly want to put in some stuff and try out some stuff, you could have your presets here being stored. So you can get this device, this Max for Live plugin. Um, on my page so just follow the link in the video description and as i said it's a pay what you like so obviously donations are always welcome um take care bye bye